Okay, well, we you've got your airframe built. At least I'm assuming you do. If you don't, watch part one. Now let's add a power system. My power system is going to be, of course, my all-time favorite E-Flight Park 450 motor with the 10 by 4.7 slow flyer prop. Obviously, it's going to go right there, a little bit above the wing line, but I'm not going to add any kind of directional thrust in any way to it because that just screws things up when you do that. <clears throat> on a mid-wing plane or on a low-wing plane, you don't need to add down thrust. That's a myth and a false myth. If anybody wants to explain to me why in the comments, please do so. If you say the comments ain't torque roll, I am going to probably defriend you on everything and shun you from Facebook. Which I don't have, so I can't actually do that, but it's not needed on a plane like this, down thrust. Only right thrust. And that's not to compensate for torque roll. That's actually to compensate for a yawing effect that the motor makes because of this spiraling vortex of air around the fuselage. It pushes on the top of the rudder this way and yaws the plane to the left. Of course, if you have like a plane that has a rudder on the bottom too. Well, you know, like this same exact type of rudder on the bottom, like a, one of those VTOL things that fly like this, has you don't need any kind of directional thrust. You can't fix torque roll with by tilting the motor. You can only fix torque roll by getting a either contra rotating prop, prop or using two motors with counter rotating props. That's the only way to fix torque roll, whether you like it or not. All right, now let's get down to the power system. All right, so I'm gonna use my E-Flight Park 450 motor with four points, with a, with a 10 by 4.7 slow flyer prop, my 1250 milliamp hour battery, and three nine gram servos for my control surfaces. And of course, I'll be using my Spectrum radio because that's what I have. All right. Okay, this is how I do my servos. bottom, a book over your control surface to keep it straight, and there you go. Except for like the rudder, you have to literally like manually make it straight. Look at that thing. It works, yay! Ooh, look at this, my testing thing. Just plug that right into the battery. Cool. I don't run down my lipos doing this. Awesome. Okay, the plane has servos in it now. Two for my elevons, one for my rudder, and my test battery is still hooked up. I will now make a motor mount. My signature motor mounts made of popsicle sticks. Cool. And there's the legendary motor. It powers pretty much all of my planes. <laughs> I have to take it off and switch between all of them. Same thing with my servos and my receivers. Since I only have like, I actually have two of those now. I have a, one of those plug and play versions. I don't know if it's better or worse, but who knows. And I did lose one of my screws, so I only have four, three now. They'll hold the motor on, but that works. All right, let's get to work on this motor mount. Alright, cool. So, yeah, I'm pretty much probably just gonna take two, two of these, cut them in half, and fold them over, glue them together. Here, I'll just show you, you know. 
Okay, I cut one in half. Now I'm just going to glue them together. Alright, cool. Now I'm just going to build one more of these, and then I'll build a little kind of skeleton for it. Alright, awesome. Okay, there is my way cool motor mount. Look at that. Popsicle sticks. The motor's going to go right on there like that. And I'm going to have to trim off the edge of the leading edge there. But I usually have to do that. That's what I had to do on the last one anyway, so it's not a big deal. If you have to do that on yours as well, you know, whatever. Trimming off that much isn't going to affect anything at all. Not nothing at all. But I am going to trim off as little as possible so that this is as close to the prop as possible. One, what that'll do is that'll reduce the area that you can have spinning airflow, so it'll reduce uh, torque roll a little bit and once it, because once it hits this thing, it can't really, you know, the airflow can't spin as much, so that, in theory, would help. If not, at least, uh, it's just a little bit more wing area. Who cares? All right, cool. Let's get this thing rest really finished. Awesome. Okay, all done. Finished building it. Ready for vertical takeoff. Huh. That's where the CG it needs to be. About. <sighs> it's hard to tell exactly where. I didn't measure it yet, but it's basically right there. That's pretty much not going to help you at all. But yeah. Oh, right. Exactly where the CG needs to be in the comments in the uh, description of this video. Okay. Bye. Haha. <laughs> that was funny.